Hey, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about LogoMaker's new features so you can make a faster logo, easier, and with much higher quality. We are gonna talk about three things, the shape tool, the templates, and the new icons we have in LogoMaker. So first, let's get into the shape tools. Okay, so let's go into LogoMaker, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com, and let's look at these new shape tools. So I'm just gonna create a new uh, canvas here, and I'm gonna go into the shape tools by going over here and I'm gonna click on like maybe a burst. So these are really cool. This is what we call module shape tools. And module means we could go into the styles of the shape and we could create different iterations of that shape. We could change the slope, we could add a line width to the outside of it, and we could add a cutout to it. So this is really, really cool because there's so many possibilities you could do with just one shape alone. So here's a logo I did with just shapes alone. So if you click on this, you'll notice that you could change the angle of these shapes just like this. So this was originally a circle and all I did is change the angle of it just to make it a shape. And then what I did is I duplicated that and moved it around. Okay, so let me show you how I made this right here. Let me just delete this one now. And I went over here to the shapes area, went to the ring, and I went in and I filled this ring in. So I took the call out and I made it a full circle, just like this. So all the ring is, is just has a cut in the circle. And now I'm gonna go ahead and change the color by clicking on the color palette here. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change the angle of this circle here. This is really, really cool. So let's change this angle here, and I could change it up on the top, just like that. And I could also move it around just if, if like, let's say, let's say you wanted something like that, right? And that's pretty much identical, whoops, and that's pretty much identical to this one, except I have to turn it around a little bit more. And all I have to do now is just kind of flip that one around. So I could flip it horizontally and I could flip it vertically to get it to where I want it to be right here. So that's kind of what I did here. And this angle is a little bit off, so let me uh, fix that angle on the top. There you go, to make it a little bit more flat and just make it aligned. Make sure you aligned everything up. What's really cool about this is it will align it for you. So it will know, it'll snap it to the grid and it'll know where it is. As you can see, you'll see some arrows between here and here. So that's really cool uh, feature we have as well. Here's another simple logo I created and I used the square tool. So if you go over here and you get a square like this, you could not only move the square and position it and make it longer or skinnier the way you want it. But you could also round the corners of these squares just like this. So let's round these corners. And that's pretty much all I did for this one right here. Pretty simple, but it looks really cool and it allows you to do so much and have so many different shapes and make your logo look really original. So the next feature is the templates. Um, there's a bunch of designer templates and we keep adding more and more templates, but this gives you a really good structure of what type of logo you want. And you can make your logo as custom as you want, but these templates really help to give you ideas and inspirations. So you could go ahead and click one of these templates here, just like this. And if you want, if you see an image here, you could replace this image by clicking replace graphic here. So you could go like this, and let's say you wanted to replace it with a different microphone or even something else like a dog. I wouldn't recommend it for this one maybe, but well, maybe it looks good actually. So that's really, really cool. So you could start just taking these, replacing their templates, replacing the colors, resizing it and positioning it the way you want it to look. So I could take this and change the color and to whatever I want, and that's really, really cool. And I could have a totally different logo, and then I could change this to uh, dog hun hunter, something like that. All right, so there you go. I just basically took one of the templates and I made it my own, 
And with the millions of graphics, that's another thing I want to tell you is we have over 3 million graphics now within Logo Maker, which could make your logo really stand out and look original. And that's what a logo is all about, is making it look original, making it look like it stands out, and also making it look like it's part of your brand. That's what makes a professional logo. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you would like me to make a logo for you, just put in your comments below and I will make a logo for you live in the next video. I'll talk to you shortly.